Before we get... Brian at the NBA. Very interesting, Alan. Good stuff there. Thank you. So let's take a look at the Phoenix Suns starting lineup. Crowder at eight in the bigs. Paul and Booker, the talented backcourt. And it's Bridges in at the three. And for the Bucks, the foundation of this team. Middleton and Giannis, the three and the four. Holiday and DiVincenzo man the backcourt. And it's Lopez in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. The Crowder was in high demand as a free agent in 2020. And a lot of people wanting his toughness on their roster. He may give up a little size, but has the bounce to hold his own. Now here's Holiday. Back to Anadokounmpo. Just five to shoot. Oh, and makes it with the kiss. Man, with Crowder's free agency, Team saw what he brings to the table. Well, he's a good defender, and he's relentless on that end. And he just brings that kind of toughness that a lot of coaches are relying on, and they know that's important in the postseason. Outside Holiday. Up and over Crowder. A shot by Holiday. No good. More often than not, he'll cash it in from that area. The defense might have done just enough to bother him. Bridges passes to Crowder. Outside Booker. Here's the three. Great D that time from Anadokounmpo. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. And the bucket is good. Anadokounmpo's got the second bucket. So hard to stop down low. Giannis gets around the basket, and it feels like within eight feet, he's going to dunk just about anything. His touch from mid-range, that's almost always good. That won't shake his confidence. And the basket by Holiday. When the player gets a feel for that floater, it can really make things tough on defenders. You're just not sure how to guard them and where your point of commitment is. Now here's Booker. Back to Paul. It's Booker on the wing. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. Just not thinking about it twice. Devin Booker with the ball. He's going to let it rip. Pass to DiVincenzo. Anadokounmpo inside. He's against Crowder. Anadokounmpo can't connect. Phoenix has gone 0 for 2 from outside. Bridges against Middleton. Up top, Bridges. Outside for Booker. Here's Ayton. Rebounded by Lopez. The Bucks have gone three of six since the tip. Takes a 13-footer. DiVincenzo can't hit. The Suns trailing. Bridges outside. Pass to Ayton. Great D that time from Anadokounmpo. And there's a little bit of pressure on him, but not enough to cause him to miss a shot that didn't that close. Holiday from long range. It's hauled in by the Suns. Outside Booker. Oh, it misses. Had a chance to tie it. Now one player sometimes can drag down your offense, and he seems to be an anchor here in this quarter. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Anadokounmpo is doubled. Holiday has the open look. Oh, and that one has the right spin on it. It's good. Look, he's an MVP performer on the court, but Giannis in that leadership and attitude, he's a team first guy. Can't get it to drop. Good work defensively by Lopez. Can't get anything to go this period. Seems like he's hit a wall. The drive by DiVincenzo. That won't go for him. Now 0 for 2. The Suns shooting just 22% in the early stages of this one. Booker, the pass to Bridges. To the middle. Aiden. And a nice finish on the layup. Aiden rolls to the hoop for two at 7-1. Very fluid. Pass to Anadokounmpo. Back to Holiday. From downtown. And a great assist by Anadokounmpo. And that one goes in. Anadokounmpo's got three assists now in this one. Here's Booker. Will not go. Misses off the front iron. Cannot get anything to go. If there's 
going to be a way to get out of this hole. I don't think he'll be the one to do it. Now here's Bridges. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Outside Paul. His first shot coming late. The shot no good. And we've reached the end of the first quarter. The Bucks on top, up five. And we'll be back shortly for the start of the second quarter. And he's always been a coach on the floor. Chris Paul is a communicator. With anything, uh, whether it's this. And CP3 never shy, Grant. Never shy indeed. Always holding himself and his teammates accountable. Hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. Halfway through the first half in this one. And for the Bucks guys, what jumps out to you? That one. Well, you have to credit their effort on the defensive end. It set the tone for this contest. That defense has been infectious here as everybody stepping up aggressively on that end. And so in the game for the Suns, we've got campaign. Cameron Johnson out there with Jake Crowder. And then it's Landry Shamit and it's Sharich in at the five, roaming the paint. Good on the shot. Payne's got his first points of the game. And Grant, you were a big wing with skill. That type of player very much in demand in today's game. Well, I mean, today's NBA is all about versatility. Can you get it done offensively and defensively? Players with size and perimeter skills are very much invaluable to their team. George Hill, when he decides to drive like that right to the rack, that's when he's effective. He got contact. George Hill! At the line for two! That one misses. And the second free throw is good. Uh, whether George Hill has started, which he's done a lot in his career, or come off the bench, he's a guy that you like in your rotation as a steadying force. Now here's Crowder. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Chamet into the lane. He's now one for two with that bucket. Milwaukee in the lead. And just as he showed in college, Landry Chamet has a very high basketball IQ. He does, and he makes great decisions with the ball. I mean, he takes care of the ball so well. He always plays under control and commands the offense exceptionally well. Johnson against Allen. Pass to Middleton. No luck on that one. Good work defensively by Crowder. For Phoenix, they've gone 2 of 4 here in the second quarter. Payne, the pass to Crowder. Comes up empty down low. For Milwaukee, they've gone just 1 of 3 to begin the second quarter. Back to Middleton. Chalk up two there. Middleton's got five points now this quarter. Well, at 235 pounds, Middleton is hard to throw off balance, so he can take that contact and still finish through. Yep, that one's good. Well, the defense allowed that one. He had a clear path to the cup. Here's Middleton. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's his Give that one to Jay Crowder. Think about Middleton's improvement in this league. A lot of people not knowing where he came from or how his game has evolved. And they've seen it over the past couple of seasons. And guys, let's get your take on the scoring breakdown for the Bucks. So far, guys, they've done a fantastic job finding the open man and getting some easy buckets. I also like on the offensive end how they're working to get the ball into the paint, into the teeth of the defense. They've created a lot of high percentage shots so far. Bridges, he's checked in for the Suns. Chris Paul comes in for Payne. Both good from the line that time. You know with Middleton, 
He's always adding a wrinkle to his game, it seems, Brent. I feel like he, he's understood the physicality of the game a little better in the past couple of years and now has extreme confidence in where it is he can get his offense going. Smooth finish off a terrific feed. Man, the timing and execution couldn't have been any better right there. Middleton outside. The shot, no good. And Phoenix the other way now. Outside Paul. Here's Sharich. Yes. And it's Paul with the assist that time. And now just a three-point Milwaukee lead. Very little resistance around the rim right now. That's the fifth straight bucket they've given up in the paint. Timeout called the Bucks. And think about how tough this team is when Cam Johnson is out there and drilling shots. And the Bucks will go for a different look here. Lopez, he's checked in for Portis. Giannis Antetokounmpo comes in for Chris Middleton. DiVincenzo, he's checked in for Allen. And Drew Holiday is subbed in for Hill. Aiton, he's checked in for the Suns. Devin Booker comes in for Shamit. Now here's DiVincenzo. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. I think he rushed that one just a little bit, thinking the defense was going to get close. They weren't. For Milwaukee, they've got just two of six field goals to go in the second. Johnson's shooting is so important to this team. Right? Well, B.A., that's the value that he brings, and they encourage him to do it. So if he's getting set up and he has room to let it go, Jim Johnson can punish him from the outside. Activity on the glass. That's a possession that could have gotten away from him. Paul passes to Bridges, and here's Johnson. Pass to Paul. Over Holiday. Another one falls for Phoenix. The mid-range master, Chris Paul, added again. Milwaukee has gone one of two from downtown here in the second. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thanks, Brian. DeAndre Ayton being the number one pick in 2018, his potential is obvious. With this team on the rise, he's looking to impose his will on a nightly basis. Ayton said, quote, I know how hard I work and what kind of a player I am. I'm trying to take over every possession, being more dominant every game. Oh, scary thought, Allie. Thanks. Milwaukee with the ball. Following the score by Phoenix. Holiday passes to Anadokounmpo. Basket counts. Anadokounmpo has got eight points. Well, he made some kind of adjustment to his game after a poor first half. He's been impressive shooting the ball during the second. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And there's Holiday. That's good. On the assist by Lopez. Holiday's got four points in the quarter. Ball against Holiday. From ten feet away. And it's off the back of the rim. No good. And the first half comes to a conclusion in a game that's been very close so far. The Bucks on top, up five. We'll see you after halftime for the beginning of the third quarter.